everybody welcome back to into the breach last time we defeated one of the vec leaders it seems this island is now cleared i was a little bit confused because there was like seismic activity and then those three blue regions became lost so i was like oh i didn't expect that at all i thought we would have to battle for every mission on the island so that caught me a little bit off guard i don't know whether it will be the same for the rest of the islands but now we get to spend our reputation points actually but let's see what, what do we have here um, acquire shield tank, any class weapon. Deploy a shield tank that can give shields to allies. Okay. Uses per battle one. Needs two power. Rock launcher. Throw a rock at a chosen target. Rock remains as an obstacle. Okay. Also very interesting. Range class weapon, rocket artillery. Fires a pushing artillery and creates smoke behind the shooter. Alright. And here we got a brute class weapon, the shrapnel cannon. Dude, what the heck is going on with that? Shoot a projectile that damages and pushes the targeted tile and the tiles to its left and right. Damage 2 use per battle 1. Donate weapons and pilots for reputation. Oh, I see. So those are our prime class weapons. Oh, and the Titanite Blade is also a prime class weapon. I didn't even notice that. So we could just switch that one out for the Titan Fist, I suppose. Okay. You learn every day. Uh... Here, this one is a prime class weapon too. The rock thrower. Oh, and there's a reactor core actually. And grid power. So, reactor core costs three. Let's take that one then. Grid power? We could take. The rock launcher seems interesting. For a rock at a chosen target. Hmm. Let's let's take the rock launcher here. And then get some range class and brute class weapons. Damage two. The rocket artillery. Let's take that one too. So now we don't have reputation. We could sell one of our pilots. I don't know why we would do that, but okay. And that's it, I think. And then we leave the island. Ah. By completing one island, you've unlocked the RST Corporation. In future games, you'll be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Nice. Terraforming specialists, RST turned the environment against the VEC and nearly destroyed the island in the process. Okay, environment is a desert here. My advisors insist we are losing the fight. They also insist I trust you, and since those cowards rarely insist I do anything, I'm giving you a chance to prove yourselves. That I will do. Now well, let's head to the upgrade screen. Now let's see. Um... If we go to our combat mech here and we select the Titan Fist, can I swap that out somehow? Like, press X? Yes, that's how you do that, okay. So here's the Rock Launcher and here's the Titanite Blade. I think the problem with the Titanite Blade could be that I could be next to a building and it just like, I could hit the building, if that makes sense. Let's see, this one is a rock launcher. This one does two damage. A rock remains as an obstacle. Oh, they are all very interesting. Let's take the titanite blade for now. And then of course that needs to be powered. Mm. But the titan fist also does two damage. I see, okay. Okay. 
Uses per battle one though. Ah, I see. So that one breaks. So I was not wrong. You can only use that one once. So let's actually switch back to the fist here. And now I already like, I put something into him here. Like some power cores. I could just give you another weapon apparently like that and we could power it i hope they worked out the kings with this in this timeline so we could roll in with two weapons that's very interesting i don't have power to upgrade you here uh this is a range class weapon just one additional power to use oh i see this is uh for the other one you have the Artemis artillery, one damage, and pushes people like that. And the other thing we got was the rocket artillery. Fires a pushing artillery and creates smoke behind the shooter. It does more damage, it creates smoke behind us, whatever that means. But it doesn't seem to push people that efficiently anymore. Too bad I accidentally spent my power core by pressing Y on the other mech. But okay, let's just dive in here. Uh, defend the solar farms. Protect the defense lab. Defend the train. And battle with less than 4 mech damage. Protect the power generator. Hmm. High threat detected. Solar farms. Then let's take, let's take that one, I suppose. We shape the weather patterns over the island so our solar farms can harvest sunlight 12 hours a day. But to do that, the farms need to remain standing. Sounds sound to me. Okay, of course we got new enemy types now. The Scarab. Uh, this one, oh, this one lobs artillery shots. Okay, at a single tile. That seems very harsh to deal with. And this one is a beetle. Charge forward to damage and push the target. Oh, okay. That seems horrible, man. And this is an alpha scarab. A powerful artillery shot at a single tile. That does free damage. Okay. <laughs> so which one do we want to take out first? That's a very good question. Those are sand tiles. If damage turns into smoke, units in smoke cannot attack or repair. Mm hmm, okay. Those are civilian buildings, the power grid, solar farms, mountains are still the same. Okay. Let's put you here then. And the cannon dude, I will probably put here. And artillery will go like here. Let's just see how it goes. Mission start. Let's take back what's ours. Okay, this wow, this guy is charging from over there. How do I prevent that? This will do one damage? One damage, okay. That seems horrible, man. Yeah, I could just come in here and <laughs> just block it with my body. Is that what I want to do? Maybe not. Um, ah, I'm also in a really bad position here. I could push my own unit like that, actually. <laughs> Damage report critical. You're telling me, man. Um, now, what do I do here? Excellent question. If I move here, 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 ah, this is, I have a little bit of a hard time visualizing my decisions here. I need to push the VEC back. For that, I would like to stay here, I think. 
and shoot like that. Now you see that? They are not shooting anything anymore. I move in the way of that guy. Hello, son. We're gonna have a problem because there's gonna be five Vex next turn. Oh, that's how you switch weapon, huh? Uh, can I switch back here? How do I do this? It says R. Ah! Okay. I totally misclicked and ended my turn here. I think we can reset the turn. Yep. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so that was idiotic. So, let's do that again. Suffering a little bit of damage here to our own unit. So this is what we did last time. Thank God that you have you have like a one-time permission like reset button. Did it just misclick again? Uh, let's see. You can undo a move with that, right? Yeah, as long as it's only a move. I'm so nervous today, man. Now I want to be here. Okay. And then ah, right bumper is the sword. Right trigger is the fist. So now I want to use right trigger here and bump that guy to heck. Okay, that's my turn, I suppose. It's a little bit of bombardment going on here. Scabble charge. Now oh, there's some familiar faces. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So, how do we deal with that? I got some ideas. What is your passive bonus, my dude? You are different, right? Blast Psyon. All other vac will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Oh. Okay. But if I punch him... That means he will fly and then explode, maybe? So that is scary as hell. Also, this guy totally needs to stop doing whatever he's doing here. Um, I could just move you over there. And with you, I really need to push somebody. Hmm. Okay, what if we just straight up go with our old friend the punch here? And he explodes, deals some damage, destroys terrain too. But that guy is gone. This guy actually shoots at our mech. This guy as well, so we just need to move out of the way. Okay. That's nice then. Um, with you, we can just move over here and shoot nice then with you we could we could even just move here and attack that guy and kill him is there anything i would rather do here but also attack this guy directly and push that guy back but that would lead to him attacking our city here so maybe I could also attack this guy directly, actually. Maybe that's even the better course of action here. Doing it like that. Oop. And that's our turn. Okay, so those guys are shooting absolutely nothing here. You love to see it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of threatening stuff going on here. Okay, yeah. let's wrap my brain around that problem. You are using artillery here. You are shooting a city. You are shooting that mech. That means I can dodge that by moving out of the way. That is nice. So I will do that first. I think. Will this guy explode if he dies? 
All other Vic explode on death. Hmm. So you not? You don't? <laughs> There's only one way to find out, boys. Okay. He did not. So now we moved him out of the way. Um, you are also out of threat range. This guy bombards nothing. This guy is still on our cannon. This guy is still here. We could move our cannon to here. That seems wise. Because it's getting him out of the way and we can shoot that guy at the same time, killing him. The Alpha Scarab is a little bit scary. We can stand here. We just go fist bump. There you go. <laughs> nice. Very good. Yeah, and I know this is this is a weird game because it's like part puzzle game, part strategy game, right? Hmm. Two HP left on you, my boy. One HP left on you. Should not be a problem. Just move in here. And we give you the alt punch treatment. Oh no, that is, that is not what I want to do here. Uh, let me just back out here. Please, no, I don't want to use that sword. Let me let me do this first. Uh, we move here and we shoot our cannon. There we go. This guy has 2 HP left. Now this is where we come in and we go punch. Nice. And then with you, artillery mech. My dear artillery mech. Why is it hard to say artillery fast? Artillery. Artillery. There you go. Just heal yourself. <laughs> there's not really like there's anything else to do. Nobody to shoot at here. Excellent work. That's all. Heck yeah. Okay, so a little bit of a longer mission. Worth it though. Region secured. Look at our power grid. It's full with power and actually the grid defense increased. So the chance to not suffer any damage. Because every time you get power past your max power, it increases your defense. Apparently. It's on one of the like small spoiler free guides I read. That's what they said. Kill seven enemies, protect the coal plant. End battle with less than four mech damage, protect the power generator. I threat detected, I don't know what that means. Defend the train, protect the defense lab. So we need to defend two things at the same time, huh? Gonna take a gamble here. Let's let's take a look here. Okay, there's some kind of alpha mech, uh, alpha vec. Never get Vec and Mech confused, my guys. <laughs> and three coming up in the same turn, apparently. And there's the train moving through. And we need to protect that lab. That seems a little bit hot to me. And battle with less than four Mech damage and protect the power generator. That seems doable. Let's do that one then. Okay. Where do we want to stand? We have an artillery guy here, a charging guy there. This seems horrible news. So I feel like we want to get in here as quickly as possible. Let's do it like that. Uh, where do we put our cannon? Good question. Because there's like an abyss here. Chasm tile. Ground units deployed. A ground units pushed in will be destroyed. Yes, I suspected as much. Um, maybe we put you here and then artillery. I will just stick with my rule of staying as close to the central tiles as possible. Uh, let's move you here then. Okay. Mission start. Max deployed. Hmm, okay, you're threatening it like that. Oh! There's things coming out of the chasm. That is very sneaky. I kind of hate that. Okay, is there some 
smart pushing I can do here. They're not doing anything this turn. You cannot move here. Hmm. That's disappointing. Okay. Do some smart pushing. We could totally uh, fire here and move those to the left, right? And this guy is lobbing one over there. Very interesting. You can punch him and kill him. So if I stand here and I fire like that, those two guys will move. Let's do that first. So now this guy is shooting that guy. <laughs> and this guy will charge that guy for one damage. But this guy is still attacking our little city here. And this guy actually goes first. So there's a big no-no from me. So that warrants a nice meaty punch. Oh, did I select the wrong weapon again here? Seems like it. I have to be so careful with that actually. Now this guy will rush into us here, but I don't really mind, I think. For then less mech damage though. Hmm. Uh, can I undo my move here? There we go. Let's think on it for a second. You already moved. You can still move. This is an alpha. I would like to attack the alpha and do some damage to him here. Like that maybe? Because alphas are such a big threat. Okay. Now we got that cleared. For now. And then, well, we could also just... Ah, but the blade pushes things into things. Okay, yeah. I guess we have to punch him here. Not like that, though. Punch him with your fist, not... Don't hit him with the sword. Why do they say I can't believe it? Okay. Turn end. This feels like playing a very convoluted version of chess. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, this guy will attack the alpha vec. That's very strange. What is the alpha vec doing? Nothing? Oh, this guy just came up. That's why this guy is doing nothing. Oh, he came up in the way of that guy. I see. Okay, we need to push this... Dude. So let's let's visualize here. This guy's doing nothing. This guy needs to be pushed. Cannon can push this guy. Okay, that's good news. Um let's move you here. And I will just move you over one. That means you will charge into this direction. Nice. Okay. Then my cannon boy. But even... How do we get rid of this thing? I can just punch him into the smoke. Like it's very clean actually. I can move here. And I don't use the sword. I don't know why I always want to use the sword. And I just go punch, and there he goes. And Jill moves over here. A nice little standard attack, like so. Now there's smoke here. This guy gets attacked. Fine by me. Let's watch the enemy action unfold here. This guy just rushes and is now stuck in that corner. It's so funny. Okay. There's a lot of threats going on now. Okay. Some things need to be pushed here. This guy is giving me a little headache here. This guy is attacking two buildings at once. This guy, I don't know what I can do against him. I guess I can push you with you. Could put you into the way of 
that one and then shoot an artillery shell here. Like, does, does it work like that? We go here and then we, we shoot like this. This blocks that dude. Seems good so far. Yeah, I think we're gonna suffer some grid damage here. Doesn't seem to be avoidable. We need to shoot this Hornet dude with Jill. He has one HP. So you're just gone. Okay, now there's still two guys attacking. This guy and this guy. So what we'll do now is we'll just throw a nice little right hook against this guy. There we go. Attack cancelled. <laughs> there it is. It feels so good. Yeah, said we're gonna take some grid damage here, but could have been way worse. Power lost. Yep. Yeah. Oh yes. I did not calculate that that will actually shut down our mech here. He only had two HP. Okay, now we got a little problem here. Um. Can move out of the way of that one. Could shoot and move that guy over. This thing only has one grid left, right? So Ralph, I can move you here. I think that's that would be okay. Let's take a look at the turns here. This guy's gonna move first. I could stand here, shoot this guy to move over, and then shoot that guy. But this guy is still going to attack this building. So let's move Jill over. And we just shoot. There we go. And then you, Rolf, will move over here. And you punch that guy like so. And sadly, all we can do this turn because I lost this mech. Yeah, and there goes more power, damn. There we go. Not glorious, but we survived, so that's something, right? Okay. Region secured. And we got both of the bonus objectives. No vac in the air or the ground. No living vac, that is. Well done. Okay. Let's see, we got red sands available here, kill, kill at least seven enemies and protect the coal plant. The rust dunes, it's actually the same. Okay. If I look at our upgrades here, the sword seemed so interesting, but actually I don't find myself using it. What about this, this weird boulder cannon, the rock launcher? Not to be confused with the rocket launcher. Draw a rock at a chosen target, rock remains as an obstacle. You know what? And it's not a one-time use. Let's do it like that. The rock launcher. Okay, and then... Here. We don't really have anything. I wonder how we can get new pilots. I think somebody said if you finish an island like with all bonus rewards intact or something then you can get an additional pilot sometimes that might be beneficial now the real question is what are we gonna tackle next i think one of those here's a lightning storm and here we got the rust dunes i think we'll tackle the red sands next time but for now i'm gonna say thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the episode we did the storm summit and the rsc training this time man time flies playing this game but also my brain, like, I can feel the gears turning, if you know what I mean. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. You know, it helps me and the channel grow. But for now, have a nice day. I'll see you next time, and bye-bye.